Hi, Naijima. Hi. So, the question is, what's one of the hardest things you've been through in life that you didn't even think you could get through, but you did? And how did you do it? One of the hardest times in my life would be when I traveled out of state and I became very ill and I was on my deathbed. I actually died in my seat and I came back. When you were going through this um, health crisis, I'm sure you were not feeling your best. You were feeling probably at your lowest and you probably didn't even think you could make it. What kept you in a positive mindset? The thought of my kids, coming home to my kids, having a job, you know, my success, me being a career model and it's just all those things put together. I know that life has so much more for me than for me to just think about giving up so fast. And did you heal overnight or did it take you time to get to, you know, to recover? From the sickness? Correct, yes. No, I didn't heal overnight. I had to learn how to walk again. I had to learn how to, like, dress myself, put socks on and everything, the basics again. So that was hard. It was hard. And you, when I came back to New York, um, they told me to walk on a cane. I didn't use that because I feel like that's just a way for me to be left down. Mm -hmm. So I just eventually just stopped holding the cane and started walking on my own because I don't know. I, I'm just a self-sufficient person. Like I just like doing things on my own. And I don't like to be down for too long, so. And that helped to speed the recovery? Yes, it did. Interesting. Interesting. So, huh. All right. And um, was it worth it? Was it all worth it to keep going and to keep pushing yourself, even though you weren't feeling very well? Was it but worth it? It was worth it. And why? It was worth it because now I'm opening my business. I'm in the career of modeling now. I'm just moving on forward. I'm enjoying my happiness. You know, I had to let go a few people in my life. Sometimes it's not it's not healthy to keep certain people around you. Mm -hmm. And I had to learn to let people go and focus on myself. And now I'm doing more better than ever. And did you talk to anyone when you were going through the pneumonia crisis and that health crisis? Did you open up to anyone and did that help if you did? Um, I talk to my mom every day. Mm -hmm. I talk to my grandmother. Yes. And that was it. But that helped you a lot. Those yeah. two people made a big difference. Yes, they did. So it really helps to have a support system. Yeah, it does. Very well. Anything else that helped you? Um, I believe, honestly, love, loving yourself. That helps yeah, a lot. Because when you feel like the whole world turned their back on you, if you don't got love for yourself, I feel like ain't nothing possible. How you gonna learn how to love somebody else and expect love from a support system if you don't know how to love yourself? And so what helped you come to terms with loving yourself and being comfortable with who you are? Basically, by just letting go of those that was unhealthy to my life. Those that's bringing negative energy to me. Was it easy to do that, to just let them go? At first. first. No. No, and what helped you to decide, you know what, I have to do this for the sake of my well-being? Because if I'm trying to grow successfully, you have to let that go. You have to. Especially if that person is only there when you have money or whatever the case may be. For money, sex, or whatever, you gotta let them go. You gotta let them go. Mm -hmm. It's just not healthy, and that's just it. All right, and if someone's looking at you right now who's in a hospital bed, what would you have to say to them? I would say, while you're in your hospital bed, pray. Keep praying. Don't give up. 
I'm sure there's one person you can turn to. Even if it's not a family member or friend. Just a nurse in the hospital that's there for you every day non-stop. There's always one person in your life that's going to be there regardless. Yes. Please don't give up. Alright, so things did get better for you. Yes, it did.